Welcome to Property Inspection Manager. Um, Property Inspection Manager is an inspection app for both your iPad and your iPhone. Um, you can use PIM uh, for your routine inspections, your periodic inspections, and also for your entry and exit property condition reports. You can also use it to produce specific um, inspection reports for your tenants. Um, it's incredibly flexible and very customizable. We do focus on residential, commercial, community housing, property management, um, but if you have any asset that requires a, uh, an inspection process to check on the state of condition um, of that asset, um, give us a call because we may be able to help you with a combination of settings and templates that we can produce. PIM is ideal to use as your inspection tool. It's very simple to use, very straightforward. It's also incredibly customizable. So please talk to us about how you can customize PIM in terms of the settings and in the templates that you populate using the uh, inspection app um, because we can create a very tailored process in terms of the way that you inspect and also the way that you present your findings of your inspection to your target audience. PIM's uh, compatible with a number of property management systems and we're increasing that number of systems that we exchange data with uh, all the time. So again, ask the question if you have a system that's not on the list here and, uh, and we can see if we can help you. We can also import data into PIM if you can provide a generic format uh, or Excel spreadsheet uh, or CSV file. PIM can be customized to suit the way that you work. The structure, the look, the flow, the content can all be changed. You can also send your reports immediately from your iPad to your landlords and your tenants. You can change the look, the branding, you can include cover photos, different highlighted callouts on the front page, introductory copy, even include photos of your property managers and detailed disclaimers. You can really set up a routine inspection template that differentiates you from the pack and makes it a very consistent process across the team. PIM includes templates for your property condition reports for entry and exit inspections. They're compliant with each Australian state, but depending on where you are, you can also customise the templates to suit the way that you work. With PIM, the number of photos you take is unlimited, although be careful, once you start adding several hundred or over a thousand, it can get quite a big file to process. Um, you can also choose whether to include the photos in the report itself or to send them separately to a different folder or to a file sharing service. Use PIM to create a separate cleaning and maintenance report from the same inspection. You can include different comments, different photos that are only related to maintenance and merge them into one separate report customised to the way that you work. Exclusive to PIM is the tenant inspection report. You can create a separate report that you can quickly send to your tenant and give them feedback on a routine inspection, either positive or letting them know certain things that they need to address. The content is customizable and can include tenant only photos that only the tenant will see. PIM has a tremendous amount of flexibility and we've developed customized solutions for different industries. We've already worked on a number of different building inspection types pest inspections, mould inspections, and there's a good chance that we'll be able to create a solution for your need. Hello and welcome to Property Inspection Manager. This is our quick start video uh, to get you up and running. We definitely recommend that before you go out into the field to conduct inspections, you have a look at this video, familiarise yourself with the app, and also have a couple of dummy runs in the office or at least a trial to, so that you're not learning um, too much on the fly. Uh, so by this stage you'll have either downloaded the um, PIM app, Property Inspection Manager app, from the App Store on the uh, for iPad or for iPhone. Uh, I'm going to do this video today on the iPad but the interface is the same. We will either have sent you a username and password if you signed up for a PIM premium trial or you have an account. Um, or you can be our guest and log on anonymously and try the app out for three inspections. So let's log on and, and then let's have a look at the app and familiarize ourselves straight away with 
Um, you have two choices. You can either um, set up your Property Inspection Manager app for residential settings or for commercial settings. Um, if you need both, get in touch with us at support. I'm going to set this up as a residential property. And then as I'm in Australia, it's going to prompt me for my state. If you're from another country, it will prompt you for your country of origin. And then let's have a look at um, the navigational toolbar. You'll see on the bottom of PIM, there are five icons. Inspections is where you will carry out your inspections. You will find your upcoming inspections and also your history of inspections as well. On the right hand side are settings and this is where you customize Property Inspection Manager to suit the way that you work and I'll go into that in more detail later. Um, there's also a help desk and in the help desk you will be able to get in touch with us through support. It's the fastest way to get a response and get things sorted or ask a question. And there's also links to videos, self-help guides, etc. Um, import and share, I will deal with in a different video, but essentially this is where you will bring in your data from your property management system or your generate data file. And sharing allows you to share inspections between devices that are in the same account. So, um, as I mentioned before, very much a uh, recommendation to um, set up an inspection and just familiarize yourself with how you capture comments, capture photos, and create your inspection. So go to the inspections tab, press back, and you'll see there's a plus sign. So with Property Inspection Manager, regardless, you can always set up an inspection from scratch, press plus, and up comes a floating box, and it says, do you want to start a new inspection, a small house or a large house? Um, for this trial, I'm going to do a small property. So it will set up a new inspection for me. I can put in a address. Obviously, this is going to be a dummy for this uh, video. But you can fill in all these details, tenant details, owner details, rental mounts, etc. Um, once you've done this and you're set up with your uh, links to your property management system or importing your data file, it will automatically populate all those fields. Once I'm happy uh, with all that information, press done in the top right hand corner and it creates your inspection for you. At the bottom, tap to start your inspection. And the first time you conduct an inspection on a property, you'll have to tailor it to make sure that you've got the right rooms in the right order. And you do this by pressing the edit bar, which allows you to delete those rooms that you don't require. And you'll see at the bottom, delete two. So I can do a batch delete, get rid of those areas. Um, if I want to move them up and down to get the flow, I press edit. There's little gray bars here. If I press those little gray bars, I can move rooms up and down so that they're in the right location. And you'll see that there's also a plus sign. And if I press that plus sign, it brings up this box. I can press area, then I can select an additional room to go into the property. It appears at the bottom. And then I can move it up by pressing those gray bars to where it needs to be. Okay. So, First time you go to a property, set up the rooms, get them in the right order. It's then saved within Property Inspection Manager for next time. Once you've done that, press done. Okay, to capture my comments, etc., I press the area bar. I'm gonna choose front gardens. And you'll see that on this screen, we have quick check labels, clean and damage working and maintenance. You can change these labels, um, which is done within the settings function. But this is the standard that we uh, have within PIM, um, and you can choose not to use them as well. But um, to use them, press once for a tick, press twice, and it'll put a red cross in there. So that's a quick visual um, prompt as, hang on a sec, this is okay, it's not okay. You'll see above here, you've got notes. So if I press the notes section, up comes my keyboard, I can key in. Above the keyboard, you'll see there are a number of icons. This one here is a circle with a cross. If I press that, it brings up shorthand words and phrases. Now these are really places and you can customize and add to um, this list of commonly used terms and you can just drop them into your inspection. 
You can also key in something once and add it to your shorthand words and, and phrases immediately from your inspection using this icon. And you can click this to take a photo as well. So there are a number of things that you can do with these buttons above the keyboard. The other thing that I can do is that if I am connected to the internet, I can um, tap this microphone and talk into PIM capturing voice to text using Siri. This is particularly good if you're in a quiet area or you're sat in the car after you've done the inspection and you just want to add some notes. It's not brilliant if it's a noisy room or you've got somebody over your shoulder. You'll see underneath the notes section, there are additional notes. If you put something into additional notes, it won't go into your main report. You can use it for your eyes only and create a list of things to do. Check the tenancy agreement because it appears there are pets being kept on the premises and I'm pretty sure that there is no allowance for this in the tenancy agreement. Finally, you have the photo bar and if you press the photo bar up comes your camera uh, excuse me I'm in my office at the moment and you can take photos using two buttons the one on the right hand side if I click that it takes a photo I've got some options I can use as a cover photo to go on the front of my report I can add some notes to that photo to reinforce why I've taken it my pro looks like an early riser this morning just check that uh, copy because micro isn't micro and then press use photo done back okay. and if I go to another area I just want to show you this go to photo up comes my camera on the left hand side of the screen you'll see a uh, blue icon multi shot if I press that it turns yellow and then I can just take photos by click Click, click, done. So two ways to take photos. Okay, back. Once I've gone through my inspection, and uh, one thing I do want to highlight here is that we have these areas at the bottom, maintenance required, suggested improvements, and our summary. Those can go on the front of your report. Indeed, if you want to add any other areas that you want to highlight at the beginning of your inspection, let us know and we can set that up in the template and settings for you. But these areas go onto the front of the report. I'm just going to put something in there. Our summary, I know if I press in an abbreviation of AOK, -okay, press the space bar, it says a lovely inspection, no problems to report. Uh, if I go to suggest improvements, I'll just quickly put something in there. Adding a swimming pool would enhance the prospects of an increased rent of $20 per week. So you wouldn't be doing that. Maintenance required. I know another abbreviation. If I key in fence and press the space bar, fence needs repair replacing. Okay, so I've finished my inspection. I go back to the home page, which is where I press my address. And you'll see in the top right hand corner, there's a little action button. If I press that action button, it says, what do you want to do? Do you want to preview the inspection? Preview merges your comments and photos and puts them into your um, template. Submit does the same thing, but it also sends your inspection to your email address. Or if you're fully integrated with your property management system like Property Tree or Cirrus 8, it will push that inspection back into your property management system. So in this instance, I'm just going to submit my inspection and that's going to merge my comments and photos and I will be able to see that report straight away on my uh, device. So view it now. Here's my inspection. There's the picture of the outside of the property or my feature photo. I've got all my details which will be included in here. If you want to customize this report to suit the way you want to present your information, let us know because we can do that for you. You've got your maintenance required, suggest improvements in our summary on the front of the report. You've got your table of rooms with your quick check labels for the quick visual. Oh, hang on a sec, there's something not right there. That's okay. Notes associated with the inspection, any comments. And then your photos come behind, including that text above the photo, which was highlighting why it had been taken. Okay, and that's been sent to your email address as well. 
So definitely have a play with the app, capture some photos, make some comments, use the action button to create your report and then you can have a look at uh, what it's like. If you're doing a property condition report, an entry or exit, you will change the inspection type to a property condition report. And when you come to do your final um, submission, it will prompt you to say, is this an entry or is it an exit? And then you choose whichever report it is, entry or exit, and it will populate it into the appropriate template for you. This is into a West Australian one, and it's got your areas, your sub-inspection areas, and the photos will come at the end of the report. The second thing I just want you to uh, familiarize yourself with before you get started is settings. So if you go into settings and specifically PIM admin, this is where you can set up your inspectors. So make sure that you've got your name in here or whoever else is conducting inspections on this device. Make sure that you've got the correct email formatted in the right way so that your inspections come back to you and then you can select the appropriate template for you, for your business. Now, um, in this instance, um, this property inspection report template is for your routine inspection, and you can select the correct template for your business if it's been set up for your trial or set up for your account. Your property condition report is for your PCR. Um, bond and cleaning report templates can be set up as well. And there is a tenant inspection report that you can set up which basically only goes to the, uh, the tenant. So you don't have to send the full report to um, the tenant. You can just send a quick report saying, thank you very much, can you do the following? Um, with any of this um, setup, please get in touch with support at propertyinspectionmanager.com and we can help you to customize your settings and customize your templates. Um, the big plus side of PIM is that it is highly customizable, so you can set up a process that suits the way that you work and also suits the way that you want to present the findings of your inspection to your landlords, your tenants, or anybody else that may need to see the um, results of your inspection.